It feels like you're winning the lottery. I love the texture. I'm hoping this is worth it. <laughs> we tried a lot of desserts from around the world. Tried McDonald's around the world. Right. <laughs> That's about it. Unfortunately, it's a try not to eat challenge. Oh, no. <laughs> and it is an international desserts edition. This is your first try not to eat, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna eat. I don't care. <laughs> I always eat. I want to experience something new. Like, there's, if I, I see wanna something. I want to feel something. Yeah. <laughs> well, we will be presenting you with amazing desserts from around the world. If you succeed at not eating any, you will be rewarded. But for each item you try, you must eat one bite of our punishment dessert. Could a dessert be that bad, though? I've had one of your punishment meals before. It was not fun. You're gonna fall under my peer pressure, <laughs> Sylvia. Probably. <laughs> Today I'll be talking about Kunyaman. Kunyaman is this, this is like cake Swedish? that you see right here. It was created in oh. Bretagne, which is like the arm of Moises. I'm very wrong, it's France. Cake yeah. And Aman meaning butter. Oh, butter At the time butter they were going cake. through a flour shortage, so it's they just delicious. decided to add a Hell lot of yeah. butter. That's a good so solution. So this recipe is basically well, butter. like a third Sorry, butter. What a nice. Well, I want to try this. Oh, just butter? Stop yeah. it, it's so bomb. Butter dog. Look how beautiful she is. It's a butter cake. This is sexual. That was like seducing. What was that? I'm like drilling. <laughs> I think I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna eat this. Wow, these look even better in person. Right? It looks very butter doughy. Warm, buttery, flaky, rich, and decadent. Don't even begin to describe this first treat from Brittany, France, which is described as the fattiest pastry in all of Europe. That makes sense. The third butter. Look at know. this. It's so satisfying. It just smells so I good. love pastries. It's like a Holy just crap. a big croissant. Look at that. You need to do it. Mm. It gives me the vibes of a croissant, so I feel like it's just like a very sugary croissant. Oh, I love like croissant. Me too. Yeah, it's just like sweet, buttery, flaky. Don't you think it's worth it? Mm -hmm. I think this is so worth it. The worst part is I'm terrified of whatever this punishment is. This with like hot chocolate? Yes. Kudemon. 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 This is so good. I'll take the risk. I really don't think it could be that bad. This is kind of a dream kind of Yeah, this is so good. Because I love bread. It hurts because it looks beautiful. The winning desserts are always so magnificent. It's going to make this so much worse because I'm going to be watching her eat all this beautiful stuff. Please pack this up for me. <laughs> I love these. Have these. I have these literally in my freezer, so I don't know if I need to but the eat it. I've never seen this is, before. Um, brown sugar boba. Brown sugar boba. I've, I've been wanting to try these so bad. Uh oh. Oh no. Tea, oh no. Cream. Do you like boba? Yeah. Yeah. It's like boba, boba ice cream. cream. Boba milk tea ice cream boba. bars. No. Why? Yeah, I'm tearing this up. Wow. They're actually very good. Whatever the punishment that is, it is worth marble. it. Yum. Oof. It's the exact same thing. These viral brown sugar boba ice cream bars from Taiwan made quite the splash when they hit the markets last year, and after one bite, you will know why. They're cold, refreshing, and delightfully chewy. No, this sucks. Willpower. Willpower with a sad face. Yes, please. I freaking love ice cream. Mm -hmm. Don't look at me like that. It's so good. This is horrible. <laughs> I'm just trying to hold out. Eat the ice cream. No, bro. no, no. Okay. Oh, it hurts. It smells so yummy. That's so good. What would be torturous is if I have to watch you eat the best thing they have and I can't. What's your favorite boba flavor? This one. That one? Brown sugar. Mm -hmm. And I love brown sugar. It feels like you're winning the lottery. Like, pure joy. You're a wonderful salesman. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 10 out of 10, do you recommend? I'm good. See you. I pass. I pass! This is probably one of the more painful shoots I've done in a while. Because <laughs> I love sweets. Angel hair Ooh. dough. Oh, I've, I think I've had this. I've never seen that this before. This texture looks amazing. It looks like cheese. Oh, that's what that stuff is, crushed pistachios. Yeah. I'm intrigued. Um, my childhood friend was Middle Eastern, and her mom made us that a lot, and so I've, I've had it before. Oh, this is interesting. This is very- It's gonna have a nice crunch. Yeah. Whoa. I'm just gonna oh, hold it with my hands. You saw nothing? You got attacked. You saw nothing. So this traditional Middle Eastern dessert is made with finely shredded semolina or phyllo dough. It's soaked in a sweet sugar-based syrup and layered with cheese and pistachio for a treat like no other. No, definitely not American dessert. It is very tempting. 
Whoa. Have you ever had anything like this before? No. I want to try it really badly, but- it, Honestly, it, it, if there it, was going to be dessert that would that would end me, it was this one and the fork fell on the floor. So I'm taking that as a sign dang. from the higher beings. I want to try it just okay. because when will I ever get to try this? Exactly. I just feel like the texture is going to be out of this world. Okay, I'm going in. I gotta say, this one is really good. That's evil, Wait. you're really tempting me. Some parts of it, you can really taste the cheese. The other parts, it's like so sweet. It's kinda like cream cheese, like more of a tart cream cheese, and then the crunchiness, and then the little sweet sugar on top. That's good. <gasps> oh! I do wanna try it. <laughs> I can't just do it, do it, do it. Okay. I love the texture. It's certainly the most unique one so far. Mm -hmm. I've never seen anything like this before. No. Oh, this looks... Doug, you are one step away from taking a butt. Mm. I'm really enjoying this one. Kind of looks like, okay, what are the tribbles from Star Trek? You weren't lying. Describe oh it to me. Oh my God. Describe it, use your words. Warm. It's kind of like cheesecake. It's like an upside down cheesecake. It's so soft, the cheese is perfect. A plus. So good. And out of yeah, time, no, this A plus. is so good. It was really, 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 really good. Is this your favorite try not to eat so far? Mm, definitely. Why not? It's Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna roll home. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> you love oh, mochi? I love mochi. My dog's name is mochi. Mm. Oh, I've had mochi before. <gasps> oh. Is this in Little Tokyo? Oh, yeah, I've been here. Mochi's cool. Mm. So mochi. Mochi's delicious. OMG. It's so cute. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, wow, they do look gorgeous. Oh, she's so pretty. So wagashi are gorgeous traditional Japanese confections, and today we have a beautiful kiku mochi that's shaped like a chrysanthemum with a white bean center. And let's just be clear, ice cream mochi is not mochi. Never mind. I was wondering why this is. I was wondering why this is room temperature. Ice cream mochi is what us Japanese people made so that other people would start trying mochi. Fair mochi. enough. I guess I, I'm gonna try it then because sure. I, I want to see the real thing. I'm getting into it. I feel like I'm a fraud here because I love <laughs> sweet things, but I'm passing up on all these sweet things. I had mochi recently, so I'm gonna sip this one Did out. Did you like it? Yeah, I love mochi. Okay. Let's do it. Woo! Mm, it's so cool. It's like Play Doh. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Julia! No! Seriously? You're not gonna, you're gonna back out of it? Mm. It's so soft. Oh, yeah. It's like pillow. You this is so it. yummy. I'm actually starting to get nervous about the punishment. <laughs> this is just, I'm hoping, I'm hoping my patience is worth it. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, hello, Let's hello. Let's make some hello, hello. This is, this is my country. Oh, is this, Fil this is Filipino, right? Yeah. Mm. So it's snow cone? Yum. What is that, condensed milk? Oh, that's, that's oob, that's oob, huh? So hello, hello means mix, mix. Interesting. Oh, is it gonna come like that too? Looks like you have everything in there. Thank you. Wait, is this beans? Wait, why am I smelling it? Like, I'm just gonna smell like Here anything. And finally, from the Philippines, we have Halo Halo, an extremely popular cold dessert made with everything and the kitchen sink. It looks pretty good. The beans throws it off completely for me, though. I just, I can't. I have such a weak spot for taro, though. So this smells Never like had just it. like it. Mm. How are you vibing? How are you feeling? Oh. Oh? Mm. You know what's funny? I, I, oh, this one's like the coolest one so far. There's a lot of different textures going on in there. It's only one bite of the punishment food then. Yeah, but there's a prize food. <laughs> Wait, I have to take a bite for everything I eat? <laughs> yes. I did not. I don't think you made that clear enough. But I don't want beans. That's so gross. You know what? We're gonna we're trying this for the culture, not just ube. I'm really nervous. I'm not gonna Why lie. Why are you nervous? I'm gonna take a bite and taste the bean and be like, bruh. <laughs> I'm scared. The beans are sweet. Mm. I'm so happy right now. It's your feet. Feeding me all of my favorites. <laughs> I hate this because I, I will pass. Mm -hmm. This is so, so good. good. I have sensitive teeth, but the pain doesn't even matter. <sighs> I'm hoping this was worth it. <laughs> I hope it was worth it. You like it? I do, I do like it. You do know there's a punishment coming. I don't care, I'll bring it on. <laughs> so unfortunately you were tempted by our sweet, sweet treats and for that I'd like to share a personal dessert with you. When my parents were dating, my mother, well she wasn't the best baker, 
but she really wanted to make my dad a treat, so she whipped up her finest batch of cookies. Except she mixed up the salt and the sugar. Oh no. My dad loved her so much that she suffered through each and every cookie, even though they tasted pretty much like the ocean. So for your punishment, we have a fresh batch of Mama Azuka's cookies. This is like actually like <laughs> precious though. Wait, that's so cute. If your dad can do it, I can do it. Congratulations. Yes. You were able to resist all the treats and for that, guess what? What? You get everything. Yes! Yes. Oh, oh my on. goodness, let's go. This is a lesson in life. Gluttony is never the answer, I guess. <laughs> Look at the ultimate flex. I got the three salt cookies and she has this. I've never seen it where you still get to eat everything and enjoy all these sweet treats. Cheers. Oh, that is salty. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, you were right. These are far better than I thought they were gonna be. That is so salty. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice and delicate. I thought at first it wouldn't be that bad because like salt is good in dessert, but then I was like, oh, there's literally no sugar. Mama Hazuka, it's for you. No, mama. This is for you. Getting more intense. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. This is the best reward I've had in one of these episodes. I hate this. <laughs> mm, this delicious. Is, that was brutal. This is wonderful. That's mean. This is mean stuff. We well, don't know how delicious this butter thing is going because you didn't try it. How are uh, you? Uh, <laughs> uh, oh. Any regrets? No. no. These are really funny, and I actually kind of want to try them anyways. I am not scared of a salty cookie. Oh, you took oh, a big shot. bite. You're gonna regret that. I'm that was a meat. Is it bad that I kind of like it? What? Ooh. <clears throat> I got like a, um, ooh. I don't care how much I love you. No. Thank you guys so much for watching this Try Not To Eat episode. How do you think you do with these foods? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to tell us, what else do you want to see on this channel? As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and tell your friends about people versus food. Bye, guys. Bye.